Hello guys, welcome to Gadget Pass and today I will be sharing my experience of pixel experience from running on POCO F1. So let's get started and also at the last part of this video I will be showing you how to install this ROM and some important points while installing this ROM. So let me just quickly hop into the ROM and show you what this ROM has to offer. Uh, now if I go to settings and if I go to the about section as you can see it's running on the latest Android version 12. Uh, so yes, this is really cool. Now, if I go to the security update that it's running on the April 5, and the build number, as you can see, it's here, a Pixel Experience Plus. Now, if I go to the system, you can see here, Live Translate, Gesture, Button, Status Bar. So these are some of the features which Pixel Experience Plus has to offer. Uh, so if I go to the Gesture, you can use this power button as a quick toggle to open the camera. 100 mode these are some of the basic function which pixel experience rom is to offer we get a dedicated system updater for this rom which is really cool in my opinion also if i go into the security section both fingerprint and face lock both are working fine no issues both are extremely fast i didn't face any issues with them now if i go to the app section here we have the game settings which you can turn on you can use the game section game settings uh, like get some cool features while is while playing the games and we also get the google assistant obviously and uh, now if i go to the uh, display section you see here you get the uh, dark theme and font size display size so yeah these are, are some of the basic function which this rom has to offer you also get the double tap to wake up, double tap to sleep, wake up and plug. All those things are available by default. No issues. And uh, now if I go to the accessibility, you get the live translate, live caption. You also get the sound amplifier and the sound notification section. And yeah, so these are some of the functions which this ROM is to offer. Uh, if I go to the wallpaper and style you can choose really cool wallpapers from this ROM which Google has to offer us and yes some so here are some of the color templates which you can use I'm using the themed icon uh, let me just turn on and show you what it does is if you just turn on you can see this uh, they match with my color uh, like I have selected the green color so they match with my icons also yeah, that's a really cool feature and even also the notification panel also turned to green so let's not further wait uh, i will show you the installation process in just a minute so what you have to do is you need to have a boot order unlock you need to have installed a custom recovery which is the data lp recovery the latest one and yeah so these two things uh should be prerequisite for the installation of this ROM so yeah let me just quickly go into the recovery mode and show you how to install this ROM so let me just quickly go into the recovery so as you can see we are in the recovery guys so first step what you have to do is go to wipe then advanced wipe the Dalvik cache system vendor data and just swipe to wipe done now next step go to install select the firmware file this is important do it and then go to the uh, ROM which this is this is the ROM and after this just install this DFE file uh, if you are not an encrypted user more on this part uh, in the later of the video so uh, so while installing this ROM it might take two to three minutes while installing so be patient now things uh, start to get changed everything you have done if you install the firmware and the rom file uh, what you have to do this is for the encrypted users actually so listen carefully from here on what you have to do is go to wipe then go to format data and type here yes now why we need why we are doing this because only if you are an encrypted user you need to do this if you are not an encrypted user you don't need to do this step this this format data step 
you you just need to install this firmware the rom and this dfe file that's it we are done for the non encrypted user now if you are pre using previously an encrypted rom then you need to format data and if you directly reboot from here what will happen is your phone will get a pixel recovery installed ot updates will be supported but if you want to keep tldp recovery as permanent recovery for your phone while it's encrypted then you need to flash the magic file listen carefully guys this is the most important part like if you mess in this part you might have a break device so now if you are in decrypted you don't need to do anything there the rom file dfe file and that's it we are done now boot in the recovery just go to reboot that's it that's the firmware boot in the uh, uh, boot in the uh, like system it will automatically boot it might take 1 to 2 minutes for booting now some people might have followed all the uh, steps which i have told you people um, might get stuck uh, while following the step like they might get stuck in the google logo so what they have to do is go to boot into recovery again go to wipe and format data yes everything will be uh, working fine after this let me just show you how the boot animation looks uh, so yeah like these all are some of the important steps which you need to you need to follow guys so yes let me just, let me just quickly show you this yeah so this is the boot animation with the pixel experience rom is to offer the rom is extremely fast it boots up so quickly as you can see it's already in the home screen in the lock screen so yeah that's it for the video guys hope you like it and do subscribe to our channel and if you have any issues comment down in the comment section below i will help you regarding the process so yeah thank you